Yeah, good afternoon to you, Kathleen and Andrew. As you are well aware, on any given day here in Balboa Park, this street behind me would be lined with street vendors selling just about anything you could imagine, whether that's food, hats, or glasses. Well, today that's not the case because of a new ordinance that just went into effect today in the city of San Diego. Folks, I got beautiful Turkish towels, 100% organic cotton, great for beach home or travel. The city of San Diego is cracking down on street vendors, now requiring permits and limiting the areas they can operate after a new ordinance went into effect Wednesday. It does need to be regulated. It's, it's, it's kind of a free for all sometimes, and it's not good. Eric Bell, the owner of Bell and Moon, says he applied for a permit from the city and is awaiting approval but has questions. We want to comply. We just need clarification. There are regulations now for the vendors so that they know exactly how much space they have, how much space has to be between them. They have to have a permit. They have to have this the sales tax licensing. We have to pay sales tax. We want to get back to our beautiful yep. state of California. If they sell food, they have to have the licenses for food from the county health department. Street vendors can no longer be in the Gaslamp District or Balboa Park, to name a few. Sky Fox captured this video of city crews cleaning up the area early Wednesday morning. It was uh, strange that it was empty. Uh, usually it's a lot of fun to see the vendors and interesting people. Why instead of fixing the problem, organization, oversight, did you just cut us out? But the coastal areas, including where Bell is set up in Mission Beach, is still filled with vendors for now. The Coastal Commission says the city's ordinance is not in effect in the city's coastal zone. The coastal planner assigned to San Diego said in an email to Fox 5, their review is still in the very early stages and they currently have no time estimate on when this ordinance will be brought to public hearing. We want the vendors to be able to become part of our economic life and we also want the public to be able to access the public places. We want to be here. We want to be able to afford to live here. Thank you young lady. Have a great day. Okay. Thank you. And the city tells us if vendors do not get a permit, they can be forced to stop selling their items and be fined up to $1,000. The city says they have already budgeted $5 million to help with enforcement of this new ordinance. Live at Balboa Park, Zara Barker, Fox 5 News. All right, Zara, thanks for